Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. As many of you know, the official rollout and release of Windows 11 is getting closer, and that's going to be happening on the 5th of October this year, 2021. Now, yesterday on the 2nd of September, Microsoft made the Windows 11 operating system available to commercial users and businesses for them to try out and test and validate ahead of the uh, official rollout in October later this year. Now, currently organizations and businesses in the Windows Insider program for business will now see a notification on their machines in Windows Update. And this is uh, that notification. This is just a screenshot. And just like any feature update, um, upgrade to Windows 11 is ready. Just like any feature update, uh, this is an optional update, so you don't have to install it. And you can choose to remain on your current version of Windows if that is what you would want to do. Or you can also choose to upgrade to Windows 10 version 21H2, also known as the October 2021 update, if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 just yet. And uh, Windows 10 version 21H2 is the second feature update that is going to be rolling out for Windows 10 this year. Now, you'll see an option here. You can obviously download and install the upgrade, or you'll see the option stay on Windows 10 for now. And if you select uh, stay on Windows 10 for now, uh, you will be offered Windows 10 version 21H2 instead of Windows 11. And if you are a commercial user, you will only see this free upgrade to Windows 11 on your machine if your current uh, device has those hardware and system requirements, the minimum hardware and system requirements that will be needed to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, if we just head over to Microsoft on their web page, where we see commercial previews for Windows 11 and Windows 10 version 21H2. As mentioned, you can access commercial previews using Windows Update or Windows Update for Business, and they explain exactly how to do that. And you have another option. You can access commercial previews using Windows Server Update Service, WSUS. And then you can also get the commercial previews uh, for the Windows Insider Program ISO from the Windows Insider Program ISO download page, and it gives you the download link for that. Or you can access commercial previews through Azure Marketplace. So it's not just through uh, Windows Update. You have a couple of other options. And what I will do is I will leave a link to this web page down below because this will give you an in-depth look at what I've briefly summarized in this video. And then at the bottom here, they say, regardless of how you choose to deploy the release previews of either Windows 11 or Windows 10 version 21H2, we will keep you supported. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.